have friends. I have decided that now is later. Because later you were going to find out what I was going to do with the gradient to ply fractal yarn. And as now is later, I will explain it to you. My husband's older cousin got a little baby. And they have the cutest announcement for their baby. Look at that little bear. It's so cute. And it gave me an immediate idea because the color of this bear and the color of this floof, which I used in the yarn, is heckin' quite similar. So, to celebrate this edition of our extended family, let's make a little baby bear hat, like a little hat for the baby with bear ears, because there's a bear on his card and I am completely original like that. So yeah, that is what we are going to do today. We are going to knit a hat for the baby. And as per usual with me, I am going to do so on a road trip, so let's go to Germany! We left early in the morning, and when the dawn permitted me to discern my own fingers from one another, I commenced knitting. By daybreak, I already had a couple of centimeters. Knitting on a road trip also means knitting while waiting for your husband to finish his pee break. Ah, there he is. We can continue our quest. In the distance you can spot our destination, the 12th century medieval castle ruin of Burg Aare in Altena. Focus on the knitting, please. No, on the knitting. What are Sundays for, if not for basking in sunlight with your knitting project? Preferably on a medieval windowsill. So yeah, you just saw me lose a yarn chicken. Only one solution. Let's card and spin some more fluffs. We are not going to go the entire sequence to the green and the purple as I did with the three ply yarn. Check video in this box over here. Um, but we're going to go back to all the brown colors because they fit the best with the birth announcement card. So the yarn ended with a light yellow and dark yellow. I'm not going to continue this yellow because I think it's a bit too vibrant and it will be too prominent a color in the entirety of the head. I actually want a dark brown to shine more. So, weep. But we'll continue with the light yellow. I think I'll first make a full row leg of this one and then it will get plied with a light yellow, light brown row leg. Then there will be a light brown row leg with a light brown and dark brown row leg. And then if I have Still not enough yarn, I'll just continue with the dark brown. That will probably make more sense when I do it. Let's go! Go with the yellow. You spin me right round, baby, right round. Forgive me that absolute silliness.
Whomever said you can't treadle with heels on has never met me before. Naps get yeeted on the floor. That's how it goes in the house of a chaos goblin. Take that, yarn chicken. And then we're just going to keep rolling, 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 so that we can continue our knitting. But this time not in a car, but cozy and next to a blanket in a sofa. And when the main body of the hat, the main head of the hat, is done, we start on the ears. Four half ears and then just sew them together, turn them inside out. Sew them on top of the hat. And dang shit is cute. It is so cute! <laughs> oh my god! This is absolutely the cutest baby bear bond there is! <laughs> Gonna take it off the cow for now. So, here it is, a little baby bear bonnet. It was a really clear pattern to follow. I can recommend this if you want to make a little bonnet for a newborn in your family. Or a little bit bigger. I made, I think, the size for six months because the baby my husband's cousin had is large, is big boy. It is also a free pattern, so if you're kind of a cheapskate like me, that's ideal. The color changes on this are absolutely gorgeous. And the garter stitch really makes the uh, hand spun quality of this yarn shine, I think. It's really rustic. I don't know, I feel, I feel like this just, I, it is, I, I don't have much to say other than this is just cute <laughs> and I hope you're okay with that and if you enjoy these kind of fiber shenanigans then maybe you could like, comment or subscribe, that is all up to you and as for me, I will see you in a next video, bye! It's so cute!